In this question, a die is thrown again and again until three sixes are obtained and we want to find the probability of obtaining the third six in the sixth throw of the die. This is also a binomial probability question but there is a twist. So we are throwing a die again and again but in this case we want to get three sixes with third six in the sixth throw of the die. So the outcome for sixth throw is six. So we need to get two sixes in five trials or rather exactly two sixes in these five trials so that we get three sixes in six trials with third six in sixth throw of the die. Now let's define S as event of getting 6 in a throw of die and then S bar will be the event that we get some number other than 6 in the trial. So probability of getting 6 will be 1 by 6 because there are total 6 possible outcomes for throw of a die. So probability of S bar will be 1 minus 1 by 6 that is 5 by 6. Now we want to get exactly two sixes in five trials. So probability exactly two sixes in five trials will be n. In this case will be five. That is total number of trials. Cr will be two because we want exactly two sixes. Then probability of getting a six that is one by six raised to the power number of occurrences of 6 that is 2 into probability of not getting 6 that is 5 by 6 raised to the power number of occurrences of that event that will be 3 because total 5 repetitions 2 occurrences of 6 then remaining 3 should be not a 6 so this I can simplify as 5 C2 I can write as 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 into 1 by 6 square will be 36 into 5 cube will be 125 divided by 6 cube will be 216 this I can simplify as 2 2 is a 4 and if I multiply all the numbers I get 6 to 5 divided by 3 3 2 8 that is my answer.